Look, the Ark's moving away. Or else we're moving away from it. Don't move, Devin. I don't want to hurt you. But Colonel Garraway's the commander. Can't Devon do something? Oh, don't make him try anything. Can't we find another way? Devon's our only chance, Rachel. The giant Earthship Ark, drifting through deep space over 800 years into the far future. Its passengers, the descendants of the last survivors of the dead planet Earth, locked in separate worlds heading for destruction. Unless three young people can save the Star Lost. Dock 8. Pisces, coming alongside. Prepare for docking. Eight. 
I'm Colonel Garraway, commander of Arc Vessel Pisces. I'd like to meet Captain Janus, navigator Teal. How do you do? Well, this is some reception. No disrespect intended, but after ten years out, where's the band and the champagne and the admiral? Who are you, anyway? Don't tell me the Dockport crews are down to three. You should see what you have to unload. Well, I'm Devon. Well, hello there, Devon. We're home. Don't look so stunned, girls. I know it's not much of a committee, but it's great to be back. And you are a pretty one. But nobody's going to introduce us, apparently. I'm Rachel. Well, welcome home, Colonel, she said. Welcome home after ten long years out in the cold. Thank you, Rachel, he said. And you, what's your name? My name is Garth. Well, Garth, unless you're passing out good cigars, get your duff out there and start bringing in the gear. We had a devil of a time intercepting your track, you know. You're way off course. Right, Teal? Teal says you've precessed 18.33 degrees sidereal. You know that? Now, what's the matter with Admiral Baines and Captain Rogers? What a pair. <laughs> Let's get on to our families. Space vehicle crew area. Space vehicle crew area. This is Dock Port A. Dock Port A. Space vehicle crew area. This is Dock Port 8. I'm not getting through. Bridge, this is Dock Port 8. Bridge, this is Dock Port 8. Give me Admiral Baines, please. Uh, excuse me, Colonel. Mm. There's no one there. There's been an accident. The Ark is drifting. Surely you're not crew. No, we're not. We're from Cypress Corners. Cypress Corners? It's a pretty primitive place, isn't it? Well, did you just come out of that biosphere? What happened to the dark crew? What are you doing here, anyway? Why haven't we been able to make radio contact for years, for nine years, to be exact? Now, what kind of an accident? We don't know. We just came out here, there was no one. All the lights and things go on and off, and you can hear voices, but we can't find any crew. Yes, you see, we don't know what happened. It was a long time ago. An accident would explain the loss of radio contact. How serious. Colonel, I just told you. The Ark is drifting. The thermonuclear reactors are out. In fact, from the bridge, you can see jagged metal on one of the domes. There were irregularities in the readouts. Who told you the reactors are out? The sphere projector. Kept repeating words. Uh, accident. Inform bridge. Let's reconnoiter. Get aboard. You might as well take a look at it while you still can. CTR pile force. Controlled thermonuclear reactor check. Pile force A reading 44.3. B reading 45.1. C reading 49.9. .9. Pisces systems operational, Colonel Garraway. Permission to fire reactors. Switch on artificial gravity, Captain. We have visitors. Artificial Welcome. gravity activated. You don't want to be floating around on your head, do you, love? All right. Colonel, are you all right? Yeah. Yes, I'm all right. Fire reactors. Fire reactors. Reactors fired. Reactors fired. Navigation officer, check gyros. Activate computer plot. Gyros operating. Computer plot begun.
Check Astrofix 0600 hours sidereal. 19 stroke 2 AD 2390. Fomal Hout Ascension 056. Declination sidereal west 67 degrees 10 minutes 14 seconds. Let's move her out, Janice. Enough for an overview. Then we'll circle in horizontal and vertical planes. Uh, get your team into the observation port, love. You can watch it from there. Speakers on. Give them a little background, Janice. fallen asleep. The ox reactors... A dome's torn apart and other things are wrecked too. Parts of the metal around the reactors are torn away. Requested astrofix does not check. Repeat, does not check. Formal hout ascension and declination figures irreconcilable. Teal, the colonel won't wake up and neither will Janice. It is space senility. I was right. Quickly. Devin, she's fallen asleep too. Hurry. Now look, the ark's moving away. Or else we're moving away from it. Control. Yes. Janice. Janice, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Janice. Janice, next time you grab your shot, I want you on switching on the automatic pilot doohickey. I'm sorry, Colonel. Oh. I'll take over. Colonel, there's a gaping hole in the side of the ark. Pieces of metal all over the place. Our sensors indicate the reactors are dead, all right. Put it back in port. Well, your accident checks out. What else do you know about it? The bridge is wrecked. The ark is off course. I think I've reported that fact already, Colonel. Janice, you have my navigational tapes for Sector 80. So you want me to fix up a broken ark? Well, we'll just break out the little old hammer and nails. 
We have to get back, Colonel. Our families. I shouldn't worry. Everything will be all right, Teal, I promise. The accident didn't seem to touch the crew area. Focus on dock port eight. Activate manual controls. Pisces on manual control. Dock port depressurized by radio signal. Gates open. Are we docking again? Yes. I keep forgetting what an experience this must be for you. Forgive me, we have family and friends we haven't seen in ten years. Colonel, you don't seem to understand. The accident happened hundreds of years ago. Hundreds of years ago? Yes. Look, I know it's a great shock coming out of an antediluvian dome. You have a great deal of catching up, both of you. And Cypress Corners is rather backward. An ideal community, make me no mistake. Now, you go watch yourselves one slick docking, Janice. Won't even scratch the paint, will you, love? Devin, they think they've been gone for ten years. That's an awful ordeal. Can you imagine what it must have done to them? Well, they seem healthy enough. Sure, we're healthy. We're the survivors. You know, we started with six. What's left can barely handle the ship. Janice was electronic technician, a field promotion to captain when Armstrong died. I want you to meet our families. I'm <laughs> sorry. That's all we have on our mind now, I suppose. We'll talk about the Ark later. Fat chance we can help much, though. Colonel, you can help us. You're trained, you're an engineer. But you know things that we don't know. You know all about the Ark, where things are, how we can find people. Forgive me. <sighs> Colonel, what did Teal mean when she spoke of space senility? I was off in dreamland. She cried. We all feel old. <laughs> Time does odd things. As for Teal, she hasn't seen a boyfriend in over ten years, and she's worried about how she looks. Well, check what I said about Janice. She just scraped the paint. Family reunions, girls. Come on, let's walk. Crew families, Mrs. Garraway, Mr. A.C. Garraway, Mrs. Garraway, Colonel. My name's Garraway. We are from the Pisces. Where is everyone? Hmm. But uh, don't be afraid. Who are you? Who are we? We live here. My wife, my daughter, our grandchild. We live here. Do you know the Carnes family? Mm -hmm. Milton Carnes. Mm -hmm. Mabel. Mm -hmm. George Carnes. Mm -hmm. Rick Malloy. Does that name mean anything to you? Mm -hmm. Rick Malloy. He'd be 32 now. He's a tall man. Mm -hmm. Here. Here's a picture of him. Any Malloy's here. Garraway. Can't. Don't have many people here. More wander away every year. And 
never come back, it seems. Now, now think hard, sir. Garraway, the name Garraway. You must know my family. I'm commander of the Pisces. Everyone knew about our mission, sir. We lived right here in family quarters. My whole family, my wife, my daughter Daisy. She'd be about the same age as your granddaughter, sir. My mother, my father. The Pisces. The spaceship that went away. Yes, sir, that's right. Oh, I heard of it, but it happened, oh, oh, a long time ago. And I, I don't know anything like that offhand now. You remember. Sorry if we disturbed you. Wait, Carlos, look at this. What in heaven's name could have happened? This is the way you found it, not a soul, not a sign of it. I'm sorry, Carmen. Nothing's wrong with the radio. No one was here to answer. Can I help you? Yes. The Pisces mission, capsule briefing. Capsule briefing the Pisces. Mm. Spaceship Pisces, 60 meters length, 10 widths, 20 depths. Displacement 12,000 dubic meters, powered by twin gigomatic reactors, launched 1 January 2381. On mission to explore planets suitable for colonization of Ark. Ship's commander, Colonel M.P. Garraway. Do we know all that? Come on, Teal, let's clear out. No. Well, it's, uh, it's celebration time, Teal. Come on. Homecoming dinner. Give us a hand. <laughs> Synthetic, but well-aged. And ageless into the bargain. Yeah. You cook, I'll thaw. Deal. Please don't. You know I'm right. You know what happened out there. No matter what you say, we were off course. The speed modules I predicted had to be right. We've been gone for ten years, and ten years is all there is to it. Straight time, nothing else. I've got... Uh, don't torture yourself. I've got to find out. Can I help you? Year of the Pisces mission. A.D. 2381. Teal, please don't. Compare with present date. Present date, A.D. 2790. Difference, 409 years. 409 years. It's a mistake. The computer's out of kilter. The accident probably killed it. That's right. I had to be right. I was the navigator, wasn't I? But you wouldn't believe me. We were in time dilation. Time slowed for us. On the Pisces, barely a decade passed, but on the Ark. 409 years. Time out of the past. 
would you understand? Everyone we knew is dead. What are we doing alive? you do. Garth, you're a very good person. What do these lines mean? Well, this one is our track through space. It's like a path. Remember back in Cyprus? Corners. Thank you. Remember when you went on a hike? Well, you could find your way because you had guideposts like trees, buildings, and hills. But in space, it's harder because you don't have guideposts and you can't leave footprints. <laughs> and in space, you can move in all dimensions, up, down, forward, back, sideways. How do you find your way? Well, we, we know where the stars are in space, so we take bearings on three stars at a time and where the lines intersect, that marks our position. I don't understand how you could be away 10 years and it be 409 years arc time. Well, that you'll never understand, Garth. But I love you for trying. All right. Einstein proved that as you approach the speed of light, time slows down. Now, when the accident happened, we lost all radio contact so that the Pisces clock couldn't be corrected against the master clock of the arc. I mean, even if we were off just a little bit, the error was multiplied by the immense distances and by our ever-increasing speed as we tried to find the arc again. Look, our journey covered a gigantic circle at tremendous speed. Well, we only found the arc again with a lucky hit of our laser beam. And I suspected time dilation. There was no way to be sure. And Colonel Garraway secretly knew I was right. He was just trying to protect us from the truth. Inside, he's as shattered as we are. Look, I, I don't understand anything about what you're saying. You're very clever, I guess. But you're nice. I like you. Like me to show you around the Pisces? Yes. You know, I've only been away a short time, but I miss everything already. My mother, my home. How 
must it be for you, Janice? Don't ask. But you must have known what it would be when you became a... a space crew member? Mm. Sure, I knew. People like us, Teal and me, are chosen from birth. Were chosen, that is. On the basis of genetics, intelligence, and personality characteristics. We were sent to space and electronic schools right out of elementary. Fourteen years of study. The Pisces exploration was the first real assignment for both of us. I might have done that too. Would you really? Hmm. Back home, I would have been called blasphemous if I wanted to become a space crew member. They wouldn't even have known what a space crew member was. I didn't know myself until now. What kind of things did you do back home? I'm embarrassed to tell you. I learned to weave and keep house. I'm very good at sewing. Back home, that would just about get a girl through life. That'd get a girl through life anywhere. If I had any sense, I'd go find a biosphere to live in and learn something useful. Would you? Hmm. Yeah, Janice and I could work on this for years. It wouldn't make that much difference. Yeah, it's hopeless. It's like a couple of ants trying to move a mountain grain by grain. We don't have schematics. This is so complex, even the builders didn't understand it. All they did was make computers that made other computers to design the stuff. How's that for a chain of command? Well, then we'll have to find another way. We'll have to search the domes and find people. And convince them to leave places they lived for hundreds of years and come out and face the reality of their own destruction? You've got wacky views about human nature. Colonel, we're going to have to be able to convince people. Once they know what was going to happen, they're just going to have to help us. We all do it or... None of us will survive. Do we now? We are living in England during the Black Plague thousands of years ago. You know about that? No. No. Well, they evolved the greatest of all philosophies. Eat, drink, and be merry, for tomorrow we may die. <laughs> Janice. Oh. Rachel. Colonel Garraway, are you all right? Oh. Would you like to go to bed now and get yourself a little rest? Oh, no, I'm fine. I'm very just attached too much to the bubbly. And I'm a merry man, my love, a merry man am I. Oh, 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 oh. How about another little spot of booze, my love? Just a wee spot of booze. A merry man. He needs a doctor. We already were in the medical center and there's no one there. Colonel Garraway, can you tell me how you feel? I feel fine. Just a little weak and sleepy. But I'm a man, man, my love. I get the automatic diagnosis unit. Take him over there. Wait, wait, wait. All right, don't treat me like an old veteran of the dome wars. I can walk, can't I? State subjects age, height, weight, and health rating. Age 44, height 6 feet, weight 173. Health rating, double A, G3. Devon! Physiological readings indicate only minor deviations from expected health norms. Electrodiagnosis reveals exposure to intense time dilation. Body will retain normal physical characteristics appropriate to physical age, but psychological impact of experience upon subject induces apparent symptoms of extreme age, culminating in rapid senility. 
prognosis irreversible except through immediate return to previous environment. Repeat, immediate return to previous environment. Return to previous environment? What the devil is that supposed to mean? Well, ladies and gentlemen, eat, drink, and be merry. <laughs> there I was, watching my own funeral, and everyone from Cypress Corner is going, mm. <laughs> You like it? I've never tasted anything like it before. Well, no wonder you left Cypress Corner. <laughs> but the bubbles tickled my nose. They're supposed to do that, even if it is a bad year. <laughs> Time for home movies for visitors to the Pisces. You took these, Janice. Give us a running commentary. Take a look at that. A second magnitude star in Vulpecula. The Crab Nebula in Taurus. We used dielectronic telescope. The eclipse of an uninhabitable planet in Orion. But shooting that direction, we got this odd phenomenon. I wanted to check with the ARC observers. What is that? That is an unidentified Class G solar star, as far as I can tell. Wait a minute. Unidentified Class G solar star. Those are the words that the spirit projector used. It said we were going to collide with an unidentified Class G solar star. Are you sure? Yes. The arc is on a collision course. Get a fix on that, will you, Tim? Is that the star that we're going to hit? Janice! Take a look. Here. I see you. Can you be sure? No, I can't. I don't know the speed or distance of the star. I don't even know the course and speed of the arc. But even a wide miss would bring us into the star's gravity field. The arc would burn up before we even got close. Why should we even take the chance? That means we're going to collide. Yes. What are you doing? <laughs> Would you believe it, Rachel? I'm thinking about retiring. Quite apart from all this medical business. Find myself a dome where I can raise sheep. You, you know what sheep are. I'm sure you have books in Cypress Court. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, sheep were small animals small animals that grew your wool to make clothes like uh, like that handsome garment you're wearing whatever it is <laughs> you'd be pretty in a space suit <laughs> hmm. no what was I saying oh yes about sheep sheep well they developed sheep that grew nylon I tell you the unvarnished truth nylon sheep uh, you think that's very funny mm -hmm. Well, they called the stuff the sheep grew mock wool. And after a while, they killed the sheep and they grew a herd of mocks instead, and all the shepherds became mockers. <laughs> <laughs> One more champagne, Colonel, and you're going to float away. Colonel Garraway, we're leaving the ark. Tim, 
Janice, open up. What's going on in there? You know what's happening in here, Colonel Garraway. We're leaving. Open up this instant. That's an order. We're not taking any more orders, Colonel Garraway. There's too much at stake. Don't be a fool, Janice. Devon, you open up this minute. Don't move, Devon. I don't want to hurt you. But Colonel Garraway is the commander. You... Teal. Teal, please. You have to open the door. Listen to me, this is mutiny. Colonel, we can argue about that when we reach Earth. Pisces is near perfect. The designers foresaw everything, except mutiny. Colonel, they've got to take us back to the Ark. If I had a torch, I could cut through that door. Could you now? Well, all the tools are in the stern of the ship. Right through there. What can we do with them, Teal? The repair locker. I'm sorry, Devon. It's that, or a jolt that'll knock you out for hours. What you're doing is wrong. Colonel Garraway's your commander, and he knows this is wrong. Teal, take us home. We have no home, no family, no friends. Just an empty place in the crew quarters. A rapid psychological aging process and sure senility aboard an ark drifting towards certain destruction. And you ask us to go back home. Listen to me, this aging thing, it's... It's not physical, it's mental. Maybe it can be overcome. You could use your knowledge to help prepare the Ark. Save all those people aboard. You should be glad we took you with us. This way you live. Join with us, Devon. Don't make us lock you up. I couldn't do that. Even if I wanted to. As Rachel and Garth. And they happen to believe that the Ark can be saved. Just what kind of selfish people are you? There's a whole Ark filled with people. And you want to sacrifice them just to save your own skins. Well, I feel sorry for you. I may have grown up angry at life in Cypress Corners, but at least they believe that every man is every other man's brother. I wish I didn't have to do this to you, Devon. What could you possibly accomplish by going back to Earth? It was destroyed in a holocaust. What could you find there? Maybe part of it was saved. As far as we know, life still goes on there. You can be unselfish, Devon. You're not sick the way we are. Do you know about space senility? Well, I do. I remember people afflicted with that particular disease. And it's a fate which freezes me to the soul. You heard the diagnostic system. Return to previous environment. Well, this ship is our environment. Listen, I've worked it out. With the high speed we can achieve aboard the Pisces, by turning the reactors up to maximum and reversing our course back toward Earth, maybe we can reverse time. But you can't, you can't reverse time. You and I know that, and I'm not a scientist. You say going away will uh, destroy you? Well, I say going away like this will... <sighs> You'll be wandering around space for the rest of your lives. Teal? Don't do it. Janice, take us back to the Ark. Devon's right, Teal. Janice, listen to him. You left the intercom on. Now, don't turn it off. Listen to me. There's no way we can reach Earth without new cores for the reactors. I've checked the readings. They're down. 49.1, 48.9, 44.3. 
They're down a bit, but they're still strong enough to reach Earth. You're wrong, Jill. It takes more than that. Check your manual. It's marginal. I think the built-in safety factor is more than sufficient to take us over the margin. I'm sure of it. And there's nothing the matter with the reactor cores. Can't Devon do something? Oh, don't make him try anything. Can't we find another way? Devon's our only chance, Rachel. Deal. Deal, listen to me. You're wrong about those reactor cores. The readings are wrong. You've miscalculated. Now, if the power drops, the reactors stop. And we can't go anywhere. Watch those reactors, every one of you. I'm warning you for the last time. Watch those reactors. You too, Devon. If anything happens to them, this ship isn't going anywhere. Shut him off, Janice. I've got my hands full. When we get on temporary course, I have to get a star fix. What's going on in there? Deal! Don't make me shoot you. Shoot, Deal! No, David, you're not going to sleep like this. Reactors are dead. Gravity blocks are tracking us like a magnet. You've got about 30 seconds. Get this door open! We're still on auxiliary. Take the controls, Teal. Well, Teal, do I lock you both in the brig or don't I? Janice? What would you do for a crew, Colonel? You mean I still have one? All right, take her alongside. And no paint scratching this time, eh? <laughs> Down. Hold to 3.1. Dark walk gates open. Power down. Hold at 0 0.5. Can't afford 0 0.1. Cut power. Lock on. Hold for pressure. Locked in. Repressurized. Locked in and repressurized. Open the port. The girls are right, you know. There's nothing here for us anymore. Our place is on the Pisces. <laughs> Will you be able to reach the Earth? Well, maybe Teal can find us a shortcut, eh, Teal?